Hi everyone, my name's Faye and I'm from FNS Resellers. Together with my husband Simon, we resell for a living. And I'm about to show you 26 items that are going out in the post today. Uh, today is Tuesday and these are our sales since around Friday lunchtime, so over the weekend. Um, it's a lot less than uh, most of our recent weekend sales videos. Um, but that is because now we're building up our stock again, now that we can go out and source. Um, we source from charity shops and um, auctions mainly, but we've kind of um, not sourced auctions for a little while now, about a month or so. So we could concentrate on listing our stock and um, sourcing again from charity shops because that's what we enjoy the most. Um, 25 of the items I'm gonna show you are from eBay and one is from Depop. We do cross-listed Depop and Vinted, not that often. Um, it's not a priority for us to sell on Vinted or Depop. We don't particularly, we don't source specifically for those sites. Um, however, there's some things that we end up with from the auction when we buy in bulk that are ideal for um, Vinted and Depop. Um, I'll just let you know that sometimes I'm gonna look off camera over there and that's because I've got a mirror um, against the wall so I can see my phone and see if it's still recording because a couple of times I've done some videos and it's stopped recording halfway through. So I can just like check the mirror every now and then and just make sure that it's still recording. Um, so I'm going to start, uh, I normally start at breakables but they're sort of buried so I'll just um, go through them as I grab them off the, I've got like a supermarket style crate here that actually a Tesco's driver gave us. He had loads, so we were very lucky, and uh, they come in really handy. Uh, so first of all, we've got some Marks and Spencer's knickers. Um, the multi packs of knickers sell really, really well. These are probably the slowest ones to sell for us because uh, we listed these in March. Normally, when I've listed multi packs of knickers, they're sold within forty eight hours. Uh, these ones cost one pound forty as part of a job lot of underwear that we picked up and listed in March, and they sold for ten pounds. Not the sort of sale I expected, but it's a balaclava. Um, it's a three-hole balaclava with like a black cat, pentacle, satanic, gothic kind of emblem on the top. Uh, it cost 98p as part of an accessories bundle that we got in March, and I took an offer of £9. Things like balaclavas and woolly hats need to go because it's not, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful day today. No one's going to be wearing that sort of thing. Uh, a good sale representative of the time of year that we're in, although we barbecue all year, and I know a lot of people do now. It's a Weber um, one-touch cleaning system kit for barbecue grills. Uh, this cost £3 as part of a job lot in March, and uh, it sold for £35. I think we've sold two or three similar items to that out of the same job lot, and we've got one left. Um, now, eBay was quiet over the weekend and we didn't list all day Saturday because we sort of had an impromptu barbecue with friends. We did a bit on Sunday and then Simon did some yesterday, but I was out all day. I went shopping on a girly shopping trip with my mum and my sister and my niece. Um, but um, I got home and I just kind of got a burst of energy to list. So I got home about four-ish and from about six o'clock till about 10 o'clock last night, I was working on eBay. And as soon as I started working on eBay, the offers started coming through and the sales started coming through. So this is an Arsenal Heritage 1989 Anfield Polo shirt in medium, brand new, with the tags in its original um, packaging. Came as part of a job lot of sportswear that we picked up in February from the auction. It cost £10.97 and it sold for £34.99. Some other big good value sales. This one is a Stitch and Story uh, Sophie La Giraffe Sleepy Baby Blanket Knitting Kit. Ideal for beginners. These are really expensive new. I don't think they, the one, this one's available anymore. Um, it came as part of a craft bundle that I picked up in February. It cost £2.82 and I sold it for £35. Do this one next. This is the same brand of um, knitting kits, but one that's much bigger. Uh, Stitch and Story Bounty Throw Knitting Kit Zigzag Basket Weave Level Easy. Again, brand new. 
uh, same bundle as the last one. So it was £2.82 in February and it sold for £60. Now it took me ages to figure out what this was. I thought it was a hat, but it's really stitched a bit differently to a hat. So I was like, what is it? And then I realised it was a tea cosy. Came in a homeware bundle that we picked up from the auction. Uh, listed it in December. It cost £1.93 and I took an offer of £8.99 because it's been um, hanging around a while. A little card game. This came in a job lot of games that Simon picked up from the auction. Um, this one was, I think it might have been in the same job lot of, um, as the Grand National entry playing cards that we've sold out of now. We had loads. Why can't I see? Oh, here we go. Coloretto card game, 10 year edition, Rio Grande games, or Rio Grande games. Um, cost £1.55. Uh, yeah, in March we picked it up and then we sold it for £13. I want to do a breakable. Mm -hmm. So, Hornsey, this one is heirloom. It says on the bottom, Hornsey heirloom. Loads of different Hornseys that you can pick up. Um, Saffron is the popular one that we often pick up, only because that's the one I had as a kid, so I recognise it a mile off. Um, this one is a flower storage jar. It's got a wooden lid and no chips or cracks and it's really good condition inside it's like super shiny now this was in a big job lot of hornsey that we picked up from the auction and it cost one pound 35 and we sold it for 19.99 when i take pictures of this sort of thing i take a picture of it front on and then i'll turn it 90 degrees take a picture turn it 90 degrees take a picture turn it 90 degrees take a picture then i'll take a picture of the like inside so like literally looking right down I'll take a picture of the base and I'll take a picture of the top of the lid and the underside of the lid. So they've got all angles covered. Um, did I say that sold for 19 I think I did. A pair of socks, always selling socks. These ones are Braintree Blissfully Soft Bamboo Socks, Green Ankle Socks, brand new tags. They came as part of a big job lot last summer, 59p it co they cost, and I just took an offer of, of five pounds. A scarf, glad when scarf sell, because we've got so many. Hats and gloves do really, did really, really well for us over the winter. Scarves, sort of not as great. Um, I mean, some of the branded ones did really well, but sort of these sort of like chiffony style ones are still sticking around. Um, but because we like selling the gloves and the hats so much, we don't mind getting the scarves. They all sort of come as part of the deal. Uh, this cost £1.93 in December as part of a job lot from the auction. The brand is lettuce, as in like the salad. And it's sold for £7.46. I nearly didn't list this, it's nearly went in a bundle, um, but then I, I dug it out and gave it a go. It's a royal blue tallet prayer shawl with a matching bag. So it's um, a Jewish item in a zip bag, it's, um, the scarf goes inside, it matches the bag. It cost a pound, I listed it this month and it sold for 16 99 Hard to tell that this one is actually a ball of wool but it's vacuum packed. This is how it came. I didn't vacuum pack it. And uh, this one was, I don't know if it was in the same set as those kits. Uh, no, it wasn't it. We listed it in March. It was £4.49 cost price, so quite high. Uh, four ply, superwash, scrumptious, 310 natural, 45% silk, 55% merino wool yarn. So um, good quality. And it sold for £12.99. More underwear, this time men's classic sports boxer shorts, extra large three pairs. Obviously, obviously you can see it's brand new. Cost £1.76 as part of a job lot in March and sold for £8.99. I had so many offers on this, and in the end, um, I just took one because it takes up a lot of room. It's winter, it's a winter item. We don't want winter items hanging around. It's a Woolovers. Pure wool Aaron Cotigan large 
uh, brand new with tags. It cost £18.94. Came as part of a job lot. Um, it's going GSP and it cost £45. Uh, they paid £45. A little bundle of um, face masks that I made up earlier in the year. This one, so beauty mask, skincare collection, 10 items. And then I just put eyes, hair, gold collagen, body shop and more, just sort of keywords in the title because there's some body shop items in here. Uh, it costs £7.5p um, and it's sold for £12.99. Red dress, it's a pretty little thing, high neck rib bodycon dress. It's brand new with tags. Don't pick this sort of thing up if I can help it, but it was part of a bundle that we picked up in October. The cost was £1.93 and I took an offer of £5.75. I had cross-listed this to Depop, uh, but it sold on eBay. This is a good one. I picked this up last week. So over lockdown, I was really getting into eBay Princess and Thrift to Travel um, on Instagram. They're both in America and they pick up sort of beauty items and household and cleaning items. And I thought, you know what? I enjoy doing that sort of thing, like buying one-offs. I don't enjoy like buying a huge bundle of beauty items from the auction because there's so much in there I just don't know what to do with. Um, but I like picking up individual ones. Uh, so I got this from a charity shop last week. It's Windle London Texture Cream for hair. It's 100% vegan and gluten free. It cost £1.49 last week and I sold it straight away for £16.99. This was our Depop sale, Calvin Klein, um, sort of uh, bralette and matching knickers. Sold it for £22.50, brand new with tags. And I think it cost £1.49. I think there's nowhere to put my SKUs. Um, on Depop. So on eBay, I put a custom SKU in all our listings the, the month and year that I listed it. So that's how I can tell you that I listed it in March 21 or October last year. And then I always add a hyphen and then the cost price. So 50p, 5.99, whatever. So I can tell you how much I paid, but also if someone sends an offer through, I can quickly see um, what I paid so I can work out if the offer's decent or not. Um, a couple of breakables here. Um, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. But if you have watched it, you've seen it. Um, I did a, like an unboxing video a little while ago, uh, last month. It was vintage items. So I literally had the box here. I was putting my hand in and digging out things. I had no idea what I was going to be touching. And um, yeah, I was just going through what I found and what I thought I could sell things for. And it's, it was a good video. It's a very popular video. We've had lots of um, messages about it. Um, but these were in there. There was it's a pair of plates. There's actually two pairs identical. And this is the first lot to sell. They're Frank Richards Edwy Sells Brooks Commemorative Plates English Ironstone. Is Edwy right? Did I put that right? Yeah, Edwy Bell, yeah. So I have really no idea. I couldn't find anything. I did a Google image search of both plates. Oh God, front and back. And I had no idea. So they cost £3.72 as part of that job lot that I, I did the live unboxing of and sold them for £24.99. So I was happy with that. I don't even think I've got around to lowering the price yet. So that was really good. Let's just hope the other pair sell soon as well uh, i took an offer on this next one coming up because it's just primark uh, it came as a job lot or in a job lot there are primark love to lounge pajama set shorts and a vest uh, it's brand new but there's no tags and the size is small so not a size i'd ever pick up anyway um listed them this month for they cost one pound 76 and i took an offer of six pound 50. A really good bra sale and um, we've got loads of bras picked up a huge bag of um, brand new tags bras sort of um in like end of the winter start of the spring and a lot of them were actually debenham stock still with their tags and this one why can't i find it where is it oh here we go it's a fantasy illusion side support bra size 34e brand new with tags 
always put a sticker on with a description so Simon can find it if he's picking stock. If I got hit by a bus, he needs to be able to pick the right stock. Um, brand new tags, cost £1.76, listed it in February, sold it for £28.99. This big beast, this is... This is this was a part of a bundle. Uh, Dipra Base Eczema Cream, 500 gram steroid free pump action bottle, brand new, unopened. Listed it in March. It cost two pounds. Sold it for twelve pound eighty three. Pair of vans going out. I actually bought a pair of vans yesterday. Slip on ones, chevron with cherry blossom on. I love them. I would have kept these, but these weren't my size. Uh, these ones are a, oh, they are my size. Okay, that changes everything. These are a seven. I picked up a seven and the ones I bought yesterday, brand new. So these are Vans, Tiger, Tiger Floral Print, um, Unisex, listed in March. They cost £7.83 as part of a big shoe job lot and sold them for £30. And then that just leaves two more items. So the, it's, a, it's a big moment actually, because I sold or resold the last two of our mystery beauty boxes this week. Uh, we had a huge crate, like a, a supermarket crate, and it was overflowing with stock from the auction. I just tipped in there and thought, right, I'm gonna sell mystery boxes. You're not supposed to sell mystery boxes on eBay. You can't call them mystery boxes. So I like to call them random beauty selections, and I had three different sizes available, and the most popular one was the 20 item one. Um, and these are the last two to go. So, I've even sold some to watchers of our video, so that's good. Um, so we've got like a headband, like a nice floral twisted turban headband type thing. Um, two nail files this time, but they're different types. Some self tanning body lotion. This, I don't know what it is. Some nail gel, some eyebrow stencils, forever live oh no, aloe propolis cream, little sachet, uh, face mask, and another face mask, coffee body scrub. It's coffee body scrub in coconut, so I don't know if it smells of body of coffee and coconut. Um, Baby lotion sachet, radiance day cream sachet, some drive midge oil, um, a hair thing, some clear UV LED nail gel, something or other, a uh, body shop vitamin E face mask. It looks like a toothbrush, but I think it's a makeup brush. Some gold collagen hydrogel under eye mask. And a glitter mask peel off in black. That's one, sold for $14.99. And this next one is the same size, so 20 items, $14.99. And they've got some Epimax Original Cream, um, a nail file, another one of these things. I didn't know what it was. Oh, it's different. Is that a blackhead remover? Might be. Uh, Weller Color Touch Emulsion. Some Triple Elixir Facial Oil. Oh, a sore finger. A uh, wooden comb in a little leather pouch. Some fake blue hair with a little clip bit on it so you can put it in your hair. Uh, black hair shampoo. A weird spoon thing that I think sits on the side of the cup. 
a Calm and Cool sheet mask. Another hair thing. Not sure what they are. A Polar Bear Cucumber Face Mask. Some Ultra Deep Cleaning Pore Strips. An Aloe Collagen Mask. Another nail file. This weird thing, it's like a spoon and a brush. I'm not sure what that is. Hydrating coconut water sheet mask. A face mask. Another face mask. And some Pantene conditioner. So that's it. That is literally, I don't have one item left to put in. So they're all delisted now. Uh, really pleased I got rid of it all and I'm really pleased that it went so quickly. I didn't expect it to go that quickly at all. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Uh, we do have a sale running on starting on Friday. Um, I think it's 20% off sale and it's running for two weeks. And that kind of brings us up to sort of payday and sort of targeting people when they've got some funds and hopefully people wanting to go out and buy like buy clothes and accessories that they can wear out. Um, and we've also got, I wrote it down, 85 units being collected today going into Amazon, which is amazing because we haven't sent any stock into Amazon for ages. So 85 items, once they're checked in and all sorted, we will then cross list them over to eBay. So that increases our eBay listings by 85 as well. Um, I've got uh, probably about 10 things left to list uh, that we picked up last week. And then I'm up to date, which is amazing. Um, so I'm going to possibly pop out to a couple of chasms today. We're both going, uh, we've got an appointment tomorrow morning about to do with our car. So then we're going to pop to a couple of chasms um, together then. And yeah, we're just going to keep sourcing, keep listing, enjoy the weather and just have a great time enjoying our life because better than having a job. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and um, if you liked it, like, subscribe, click the notification button, find us over on Instagram, feel free to send us messages, have a chat. If you've got any questions, then we, 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 we always help if we can. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.